Okay, so how to create prompt chain with superpower chat GPT? Well, first thing first, what are prompt chains? I'm going to give you a simple example of uh, what a prompt chain is, but there can be way more complicated way to use prompt chain. Let's say you are a blogger and you write a blog post every day. And every day you go to ChatGPT and you start by saying, write me a blog post introduction with like this title. Then you submit that prompt, you submit a second prompt and say, write me three different paragraph for this blog post. Then you say, write me a conclusion for this blog post and so on and so forth. You have like a list of different prompts that you run one after each other. Uh, to create the final content that you're trying to write. This is fine, this works uh, fine, but let's say you wanna do this every day or you wanna do this multiple times a day. That can get repetitive. You don't wanna like go to ChatGPT and keep typing that prompt one after each other every day. So that's where prompt chains come into play. Prompt chain basically allows you to create a series of prompt and save them into ChatGPT and simply run them by just clicking on one button. So let's say you created that blog post and like you, you wrote all those prompts, you can go ahead and save all those prompts and next day you can just click on a button and you can run, run those prompts. Now, um, let me uh, show you how to, to do this uh, with, with an example. So first thing first, uh, you need to go to Google, search for superpower chat GPT, and click on the first link. Um, you'll be sent to the extension page. There is a button up here that says add to Chrome. You click on it and it will be added to your uh, chat GPT. Once you have the extension installed, uh, you can go to chat GPT. I already have the extension installed as you can see, like I have all these extra feature search, the, um, the folders, um, prompt history, community prompt. There are a bunch of other features. I talk about all these features in other videos. But in this, in this uh, video, we are just gonna focus on, on the prompt chain. So you have the prompt chain here. Now let's talk about how to access prompt chain. There are two main ways to access prompt chain. The first way to access a prompt chain is by clicking on this button on the right side. You click on it and it will open this new window, which is um, at the window to create a new prompt chain. You can simply give it a name like test, prompt chain and you can um, add uh, like a step like like prompt one like basically here you type your prompts uh, I'll show you later like an example of, of this but you can basically when you're in this window you can add as many as step as you want you can remove them you can click on this and like drag and drop these um, these uh, prompts here and you can just say prompt two prompt tree and like save this as like a prompt chain. Now, when you click on this again, uh, you have this button up here. You can click on this, see all your prompt chain. You have the trust, the uh, test prompt chain here. I'm gonna remove this one, but this is the one that we just created. So that was, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to use prompt chain uh, in an example, but that was one way to access prompt chain. Another way is if you look into the input, it says type at for prompt chain and hashtag at for custom prompt and hashtag for prompt chain. So if you just type hashtag, you can see your prompt chain. You can simply click on it to use it, or you can click on this button, see all prompt chain, and it will show you all of your prompt chain here. You can again, click on create, create a new prompt chain. Let's say test two, test, save it, and it will be added right there in, in your prompt chain. Now, um, so uh, let the other, so when you're on a new chat page, when you click on this button, it will open the create prompt chain with an uh, empty like prompt name and an empty uh, like uh, step. But another way to create prompt chain is to go to an existing conversation that you already have. Uh, and like I already have this this conversation. It's a, it's an example, but like I'm trying to write a blog introduction with this title, remote work, write me three different paragraph, write me um, uh, the um, 
the conclusion and at the end I'm saying add all parts together to make it easier to copy the result. So what I can do is I can simply click on this while I'm looking at this conversation. I can click on it and there you go. It, or it automatically get the uh, prompt name from the conversation name and it got all the prompts that I've already submitted for this conversation in here automatically. And I can go ahead and save this as a new prompt chain. Now I have a new prompt chain. So let's say this is the next day. I want to run that same prompt chain. I can just go here, type hashtag, remote work revolution. I can just click on it, remote work, submit the prompt chain. All right. Now this time it's going to submit the first prompt automatically. Then I'm not doing anything. It, this is uh, chat GPT running the prompt chain automatically. It's automatically running every prompt in that prompt chain and one after each other it's submitting a new prompt and it's generating uh, some result so that one and then the last one is just putting everything together now you can see that like i can just run this every day without like having to lift a finger just click on one button and then at the end i can just go ahead and like copy the result from here so that's one way to run prompt chain with the hashtag Another way to run prompt chain is to go to see all prompt chain and you can just click on this like play or run button and it will automatically run the prompt chain for you. You can always edit an existing prompt chain. Go here, you can change it and update the prompt chain. You can delete the prompt chain if you don't like it like that. And uh, you can also like create new prompt chain and save them here. Um, one other thing to notice here is that like if you hover over the play button you can see that it says uh, shift click to continue in a co current conversation or just click to run it in a new conversation so normally when you click on run here it will start a new conversation but if you want to run a prompt chain in the current conversation that you are looking at you can just hold down shift and click on this button and it will um, run the prompt chain in the current conversation that you're looking at. Um, also, like we have, like if you shift click on this button, it will just show you the like list of all the prompt chains. If you just click on it, it will open the like create new prompt chain uh, window, but with shift click, you can like see all the prompt chain list here. Um, another thing uh, in our, like we have a short key for all of these, uh, actions here so if you go here we have like a short key to open a new prompt chain modal we have a short key to open the prompt chain list which you were uh, just looking at so make sure to just check out the um the uh, list of short keys if you are a fan of like using short keys to use prompt chain now one more thing here let's say um let's if we want to take it to the next step let's say you have the prompt chain but you Every day you write a blog post, you want to use a different title for your blog post, right? You don't want to use the same title for your blog post. What you can do is you can go to your prompt chain. Um, let's say um, the uh, hashtag see all prompt chain. And I'm going to edit the prompt chain that we created. And this time, instead of saying write a blog introduction for that title, I'm going to use a template word here and say title here. So I'll talk about template words in another video in uh, like more detail. But just so you know, like what template words is, basically you can put anything between curly brackets. And when you submit your prompt, it will chat gpt will see that as a variable and it will ask you to put the value of that variable in that prompt before it's submitted so i'm going to do this here i'm going to update the prompt chain save it and then i'm going to click on run and this is going to run the prompt chain in a new chat start a new chat run the prompt chain as you can see it automatically put the prompt chain down here in the window you can see a preview of, so this is the template uh, word window. You can see a preview of the prompt here, the title, and it's asking me to insert the value for the title. So I'm gonna say remote work, and I'm gonna submit that. You can have as many variable as you want in your prompt, like title, whatever thing you wanna put in there, and it will have a different input box for like every one of those variable. And as soon as I submit this, 
it's going to submit the first prompt with that title and it's going to continue running your prompt chain now with that title so this way you can run the prompt chain every day with a different type of variable in your prompt chain and that variable can be in any step or it can be let's say you want to like say like change the prompt based on the previous response of chat gpt you can have a variable in there and just respond when that variable shows up on the page so that's one way to have like a more dynamic way of like creating a prompt chain and like changing the value every day without you having to type everything uh, every time um but yeah that was like a pro tip here um Check it out, try the prompt chain. Uh, it's very powerful if combined with, like let's say combine the prompt chain with custom instruction or with like custom GPTs and like run the prompt chain every day, you can get some really good results with minimal work. Um, so yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you.